Why don't power amplifiers have clipping protection? Question we haven't been asked yet. It comes from Dimitri in Beirut, Lebanon. I've always wondered why most amplifiers used in the hi-fi world do not come with some sort of clipping protection to protect itself and the speakers connected to it. As someone who plays music quite loud most of the time, Dimitri, watch your ears. Papa Paul is telling you here. Uh, I'm afraid I might blow my speakers up. Man, that's pretty loud if they're clipping while I'm distracted, like in a house party. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So such a feature would seem important as a short protection circuit in most of today's amplifiers design. Uh, why do you think this is the case, and what can I do to have peace of mind that it'll not damage my speakers by turning up the volume too high? Thanks, Dimitri. Well, um, that's a good question. There was a time years ago, I, in fact, I remember uh, an old David Haffler amp that had back-to-back uh, -back Zener diodes, uh, if I, or no, were they, I think they were parallel, back-to-back, or, -back or actually it would make more sense to put them parallel, uh, across the input. And, uh, and a capacitor on there, and it was sort of a soft clip that uh, would protect your speakers and the amplifier from uh, any kind of damage from, from too loud. And I think most high-end manufacturers, including us, would prefer not to put that kind of stuff on there because it will not benefit sound quality so much. So, like, here's an amplifier, a BHK amp, right? And, and here's the input stage. So we, we could uh, do the same trick that David did using a couple of Zeners. Uh, the, the, this, this, this amp clips, I don't know, a volt and a half, two volts, something like that. So you could, you could put something that, as it approaches clipping, will start clamping that voltage. And that's what you could do. Uh, find out what the clipping point of your amplifier is. Let's say it's a volt and a half. Uh, well, for easy math, let's say it's two volts, right? So you could get a couple of back-to-back, -back, or, or uh, you could get two Zeners that were well, 1.8 volts, 1.9, some, somewhere like that, and, and put one going one way and one going the other way. You know they're directional, right? So you put them like that, uh, and then let me think, you'd, uh, when they fire, you're going to, uh, right across the input, I'm just trying to think of how you'd want to do that, because you'd, uh, you'd probably want to put a cap there too. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to think about that. But something like that, uh, that would be a fairly simple way to limit uh, the excursion of the input stage. But if you're in a high-end situation like, like we, we do, I think if you put that across there, you're going to notice a little bit of sound degradation. And, you know, you could switch it in. If you've got a house party, you're not going to hear any kind of uh, sonic wonderfulness through your amplifier, right? So you might think about something like that. I can, I'll bet somebody, if, if you go on the internet and you look up Zener diode soft clip input amplifier, I'll bet you'll find some someone's posted a circuit on that. That's a fairly common thing. I think in the musical industry they do that a lot. I wouldn't allow it on our equipment because we work really hard to get the sound of these things as perfect as possible and that's just going to muck it up. So I prefer just to build amplifiers that are big enough, hooked to, to systems that are sensitive enough that you just basically don't clip it. This amplifier here is 250, 300 watts. Uh, that's a lot of power, and that's a hell of a lot of sound before you'll clip it. Now, we, we all understand that a, a clipped signal can damage a tweeter, for sure. I don't think it'll hurt a woofer too much unless you're really gouging it. Uh, but those, when, you, when you lop off the top of that sine wave, you, you can cause a lot of high frequencies that tweeters don't like, and you can damage them. So my best advice is get just get a big damn amplifier on there, just like our M700s, 700 watts. I mean, they're not expensive. You get a, a couple of pair of those, and, uh, or a pair of those, and you're not going to worry about clipping anything. You'll, you'll have, you know, 
trouble with your ears way before you're going to clip that amplifier. So if you're interested in sound quality, get a bigger amplifier and be done with it. If that doesn't matter so much to you and you don't want to afford that, look up the um, soft clip diode idea on the input and that should take care of it for you. All right, I hope that helps and be careful of your hearing, man. You start damaging that, it's gone forever, permanent. P-E-R-M-A-N-E-N-T, permanent hearing damage. Capiche? Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.